నమస్తే నా పేరు డాక్టర్ స్నిగ్ధ కోమాక్ల నేను కన్సల్టెంట్ న్యూరో ఫిజిషియన్ అట్ ప్రతిమ హాస్పిటల్ కుక్కట్పల్లి సో మిస్టర్ ఎన్ ఒక థర్టీ సిక్స్ ఇయర్ ఓల్డ్ మేల్ నా పేరు నర్సింగ్లు మాది మహిమ్నగర్ డిస్టిక్ నేను రైస్మల్లో గుమాస్తా చేస్తా నేను ఒకసారి కింద పడి బ్రెయిన్ డ్యామేజ్ అయింది రక్తం గడ్డ కట్టిందంట అయితే మా బ్రదర్ ద్వారా ప్రతి హాస్పిటల్కి వచ్చిన సిగ్నా మేడం దగ్గర ట్రీట్మెంట్ తీసుకున్నా ఇన్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ యాక్చువల్లీ ఫస్ట్ టైం హీ హ్యాడ్ వన్ ఎపిసోడ్ ఆఫ్ సీజర్ హీ హ్యాడ్ ఎ ఫోకల్ సీజర్ విత్ జనరలైజేషన్ ఫాలోయింగ్ విచ్ హీ హ్యాడ్ సమ్ లాసరేషన్ ఓవర్ హిస్ ఫోర్ హెడ్ అండ్ హీ డింట్ గో టు ఎ హాస్పిటల్ హీ డింట్ టేక్ ఎనీ ట్రీట్మెంట్ ఎట్ దట్ టైమ్ అండ్ ఇన్ ద సేమ్ ఇయర్ ఆఫ్టర్ ఫ్యూ మంత్స్ అగైన్ హీ హ్యాడ్ వన్ మోర్ ఎపిసోడ్ ఆఫ్ సీజర్ ఫాలోయింగ్ విచ్ ఆల్సో హీ వాజ్ డింట్ విజిట్ ఎనీ టైమ్ ఎనీ డాక్టర్ ఆర్ అ హాస్పిటల్ అండ్ హీ వాజ్ టేకింగ్ సమ్ లోకల్ ట్రీట్మెంట్ విత్ సమ్వేర్ ఇన్ ద ఎంటైర్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ వన్ హీ హ్యాడ్ నో సీజర్స్ బట్ హీ హ్యాడ్ ఇంటర్మీడియంట్లీ హీ హ్యాడ్ ఎపిసోడిక్ హెడ్ ఏక్స్ అండ్ సమ్ టైమ్స్ ద హెడ్ ఏక్స్ వర్ అసోసియేటెడ్ విత్ వామిటింగ్స్ బట్ దేర్ వర్ నో ఫోకల్ డెప్సిట్స్ సో ఇన్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ టూ జూన్ హీ యాక్చువల్లీ హ్యాడ్ అగైన్ ఎ సివియర్ హెడ్ ఏక్ వన్ ఎపిసోడ్ ఆఫ్ సీజర్ ఫాలోయింగ్ విచ్ హీ హ్యాడ్ సమ్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ వీక్నెస్ ఆఫ్ రైట్ అప్పర్ లిమ్ వన్స్ హీ డెవలప్ దిస్ రైట్ అప్పర్ లిమ్ మోనోపారసిస్ దెన్ హీ కన్సల్టెడ్ డాక్టర్ అట్ హిస్ లోకల్ టౌన్ అండ్ దేర్ హీ గాట్ అవాల్యుయేటెడ్ విత్ అన్ ఎంఆర్ఐ బ్రెయిన్ ఇన్ దిస్ ఎంఆర్ఐ ఆఫ్ జూన్ టూ థౌజండ్ ట్వంటీ టూ ఇఫ్ వి సీ దెర్ ఈస్ అ సిగ్నిఫికెంట్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ ఎడీమా అండ్ సమ్ అమౌంట్ ఆఫ్ మాస్ ఎఫెక్ట్ ఎస్పెషల్లీ ఇన్ ద లెఫ్ట్ పెరైటో టెంపరల్ రీజియన్స్ అండ్ బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ ఎడీమా ప్రాబబ్లీ హీ హ్యాడ్ అనదర్ థర్డ్ ఎపిసోడ్ ఆఫ్ సీజర్ and uh, right uh, upper limb uh, weakness because of this edema and there is some amount of uh, meningeal thickening here if we see this uh, line uh, in the uh, temporoparietal region there is some amount of thickening and uh, because uh, he had a, a old history of head injury during his first season initially this uh, was uh, one of the dd thought was in, it might be some thin sdh actually so for this uh, then he was started on some anti edema measures steroids and uh, also he was started on uh, two anti seizure medications and following which he had no further episodes now again for last 10 days he developed some amount of speech disturbance uh, dysarthria and also again he had right upper limb and lower limb uh, weakness and uh, some difficulty in walking and dragging right foot also now and uh, these symptoms uh, happened suddenly and uh, there were no seizures this time no headache no vomiting and uh, for these symptoms were slightly improving over the last 10 days uh, but because his previous mri were showing uh, doubtful infective granuloma changes with some meningeal thickening and uh, there is some mild midline shift and mass effect and edema again this time we have done uh, another mri with contrast and mrs this time in this current mri of jan 2023 if we see there is a dural based lesion and this is a conglomerulated granuloma like lesion uh, which is lobulated and there is a very good uh, meningeal thickening here which is enhancing on the contrast and also there is a underlying uh, mild mass effect uh, uh, with this lesion and there is a uh, significant amount of edema here so because of this lesion uh, his current symptoms can be explained patient uh, has actually been explained regarding the possible etiologies of this uh, dural based uh, conglomerated uh, lobulated lesion most likely the etiology could be either uh, tb because uh, his mrs was showing actually lipid lactate peaks there was a high chances of t- tuberculoma versus uh, another possibilities of any slow growing mass lesions tumor like lesions like any meningioma or other dural based uh, slow growing uh, masses so uh, he was actually given an option uh, for a uh, biopsy which would actually help us uh, re- improving the histopathology in this uh, cases but uh, due to his financial constraints and uh, personal constraint patient was not willing for biopsy we went ahead uh, with the direct uh, trial of att so we started him on a four drug uh, anti tubercular therapy along with anti seizure medications and anti edema measures and we have done a few routine investigations pertaining to the tv his chest x ray was normal and his uh, uh, tv gold interferon was positive his esr was 10 and crp was 14 and his rest of the para- blood parameters were normal his viral markers were negative so once he was started on uh, anti tubercular therapy uh, there were no any uh, significant side effects with the att and uh, we again followed him up after uh, two months of uh, att that is after two months of intensive phase and he was symptomatically very fine his dysarthria and hemiplegia completely improved his headache disappeared there were no new seizures or any deficits so his current mri of 2023 that is april 2023 was actually showing very significant improvement 
in the meningeal thickening and also the edema if we see compared to this is the january 2023 mri which is showing edema in the left temporoparietal region which significantly improved and uh, there was a contrast enhancement on thickening of the meninges and with the uh, uh, dural based lesion that is tuber probable tubercloma which significantly improved in his uh, mri after two months of att so there was very uh, good improvement both clinically and radiological improvement so it again uh, proves us uh, that it is a CNS tubercloma, which is a dural blazed uh, tubercloma. So even his edema, if we compare from Jan 2023 to April 2023, there is a very uh, almost complete resolution of his mass effect, edema and midline shift. There is complete resolution and significant reduction in the size of the tubercloma. In this case, even though we were not able to prove it histopathologically, there was a very good improvement with the anti-tubercular therapy, both clinically and radiologically. So this is mainly to emphasize that TB being a very common condition in our developing countries like India and brain TB, which is again another common condition in rural population and low socioeconomic groups. So I think we shouldn't miss possible etiologies whenever a patient comes with a SOL with some mass effect seizures and headache and with recurrent episodes of focal deficits. Extensively we are unable to investigate, at least we should give a trial of ATT for such patients. Even I think this should have been happened even in 2020. Uh, but he didn't go for any routine checkup for to any hospital. At least in 2022 June, at least if ATT was started, maybe this episode would have been prevented and this lesion must have been, maybe they, it had been completely resolved by this time. But luckily this patient uh, never had any newer lesions or extensive tubercular lesions or uh, starry studded like lesions and uh, no new deficits luckily. So patient has also been improving very nicely. <laughs> Madam the Gerkoste, Medicine Rasichini, you put over Nella Parian Rosal of the Takipoindi, it coach in Tarata. You put him problem Lazan Jepino. So this is uh, again strongly suggest that this type of treatments have to be started very early and uh, because the brain TB is very common, uh, I think it should not be missed at uh, even at early stages. Uh, one of our differential diagnosis should always be a treatable condition like brain TB. Thanks to Sigma, madam. Thanks to. Pratima Hospital.